steps from what love is, like that is yeah. like the things are about. Who am I that I would push back? Is that the loving thing? You made a bet for me to lie in. You know I'm trying. Now let's go ahead and do that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here at the Distribution Now press conference and ribbon cutting. Let's give everybody here a round of applause. Thank you very much. We've got the mayor of Odessa right here, Mr. Javier Hoven. The mayor of Midland, Patrick Payton as well. So that is how important this event is. The two cities are coming together because honestly, they're both going to benefit from it. Then we're going to hear from the senior vice president of energy centers, Dan Pratt, as well as the CEO, David Cherinsky, Cherinsky. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Cherachinsky. Cherachinsky. I even screwed it up over that. Wrote it down and everything. I'm embarrassed. But I'm going to hand off the microphone right now to the mayor of Odessa, Javier Hoven. Here you go, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody coming out. Thank you for uh, you know, coming up to this ribbon cutting. Oftentimes when we do this ribbon cutting, it's just usually us and two other yeah. people. But the thing is, is that what's unique about this is the diversity that we can uh, display here in West Texas. And what uh, D now is doing is uh, recognizing the market, readjusting to the conditions that uh, are happening now to not only survive, but to thrive under these extreme conditions that we're seeing in the political climate. It speaks a lot about everyone out here in the crowd and in this area, both Middle and Odessa and Permian Basin, West Texas. You know, I was born and raised here. And, uh, people, you know, there used to be a time where everybody said, man, I'm sorry about that. But I'm really not apologetic because I really love this area. What makes us great and unique is the people. And I know that that's what Distribution Now sees is that that's where the success is, is in everybody in the service industries. This is one thing that we as a community, and I know in, in, in City Hall that we're recognizing that we want to invest in you and we want to be able to keep our service industries. I've spoken to a lot of the uh, of the personnel here at D now and what we're trying to do in the city is to retool ourselves to be able to retain our service industry in Hector County. You know, we're not as fortunate as our neighbors to the east, they have a lot of minerals, but we do not. But one thing is that we're really striving in investment is in support of sales of uh, these mid, small uh, companies to help them grow and prosper. One thing that I learned a long time ago is that government cannot guarantee that you'll make a profit but we can get in the way enough to make sure that we can bankrupt you. That's not the attitude in Odessa, Billy. That's not the attitude in Texas. So once again, I applaud you for your investment, your interest to maintain, grow Odessa, stay in Odessa. And I'm gonna brag a little bit because I finally got the mayor to come over here and come on our event. Cause I've been spending, everybody said, why do you spend so much time in, uh, in Midland? I said, hey, you know what? It's a great place to be, and a great place to shop. But thank you for it. I wanna thank uh, the CEOs, everybody. They're here. Thank you for investing in Odessa, and uh, look forward to a very long, prosperous relationship. Now See I'm going to pass it over to Mayor Peck. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to jump on. I was a pastor for 18 years, and my father-in-law said he'd never heard a bad short sermon, so I'll keep that in mind whenever I'm talking to you. And it's great to be over here with you. When Odessa succeeds, Midland succeeds. When Midland succeeds, Odessa succeeds. As Secretary Evans said a long time ago, Secretary Don Evans, he said, we live in the world's most secure and abundant supply of oil and gas. And we have to keep fighting for that and supporting that. And you're standing as a backbone to that. I want to thank you for that. Thank you guys for being out here and continuing your investment in the Permian Basin. I'll be in D.C. next week going up and down the halls of Congress doing exactly what I just said, which is defending what you do, defending what we do, because as we're seeing what's happening in the world, what we do here matters more to the world than anything else. And we have to keep fighting for that. You're at the backbone of that. Thank you for doing that. Congratulations on this. And I hope you have a great afternoon. I'll use up whatever time he saved. Um, <laughs> no, I, today has really been all about uh, gratitude for me. Um, you know, being out here and being grateful for the, uh, the natural resources that this area has been blessed with. Um, grateful for the leaders here in Od uh, Odessa and Midland. Um, creating the type of political climate for, for us to allow us and our customers to prosper. Um, grateful for that. Extremely grateful for our, our vendors and our manufacturers that we could not have done this without. Um, the attendance of all of you and for, for being here and supporting our team here. 
just want to thank everybody that uh, came up from the vendor and manufacturer side for sure. Um, also, too, it's been great to see so many customers, and um, you know, it, we would not be here without our customers. And it's something that I know when we looked at this facility and the ability that it was going to create for us to continue to provide great service to the community of Odessa and, and Midland and to provide um, the right material at the right time for our customers. This is something that we knew that this was a sound investment uh, in this area and it wouldn't be possible without our customers. Uh, last but not least, um, I'd like to thank the staff, our people. We have an amazing group of people here. Yeah, you can cheer in the back there, you can clap. It's been amazing to see just how uh, this all came together. We were joking last night when we left. Um, it, was, it was basically ready, the facility was basically ready, but we came in this morning and everybody stayed late last night, put some extra time in just to make it uh, representative of the pride that we feel in our organization. And we wanted to make sure that that was exemplified today uh, with everybody coming to visit. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful for each of you. I'm so proud of the team here. So thank you guys so much and enjoy the rest of the time here. And I'm gonna hand it over to Dave Cherichinsky. Thank you, Dan. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. I do have some notes that I'm going to reference because I want to hit some hit some key points. Uh, this is a, a D now and continued D now investment in in Odessa in Midland Odessa in the Permian Basin. Uh, we have about 200 people here in Midland Odessa. We have 300 people in the Permian, and I don't know how many locations we have. We have multiple business units. We have our distribution business, which we're growing here today. This is an investment in our future. Um, we, we have our power service business here in Houston, our fiberglass business, our Odessa pump business, and, and I'm missing one. Flexible. Flexible. Um, this is an investment in our future. Uh, we're going to invest more. We're going to, to build on the momentum we're generating in our company. Um, I won't take too long. Brad tells me I only have nine minutes. So, uh, but I want to hit, kind of hit the high points. We want to have it, it stock in abundance in this building and in the Permian Basin, those things that we could sell in abundance to our customers. Uh, we are uh, developing the, a world-class sales team. And Dan Isley sitting, standing right here in front of me is driving that change in our organization. We are focused on our customers. And our employees are driving change in our in our company. Dan Pratt is pushing pride in how we go to market and how we talk to our customers and how we're not focused on price, we're focused on value. We're focused on making our customers' lives easier. We want them to call us when they need to. Um, but I, wanna, I, want, I want our people to know, primarily our people to know, this is an investment in tomorrow, in our future. 2022 represents 160 years as our, our, as our company, as the age of our company. We've been around a long time. And although our market is changing, although it's transitioning from uh, fossil fuel focused initiatives, those same companies are gonna drive the future into the energy transition. We're focused on that. Um, this is the cradle of the North American energy space right here in Augusta, Texas. And we're investing in the future and, and I'm excited about what we've got here today. I don't know how, many, how long it's been since we put pen to paper on this building. It's been three or four months, maybe longer. Maybe it's been six. Um, but this is really impressive. This is an impressive place. We should be proud of what you guys and gals have built here. Uh, anyway, I want to thank the mayors for coming out. What a, what a show of support. Uh, we want to grow this business. We want to grow our communities. Uh, we, want, we want our people to be proud about what we have here. Our suppliers, like Dan said, um, our job is to connect the manufacturers to our customers. That's what we do. Um, we wanted to provide a facility that our people can, can work, can, can collaborate in, can be proud of, uh, and can connect those two, you know, important parts of the supply chain. That's what we do. So anyway, I won't take too much time. I'm, I'm very excited about being here. What a treat. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. And uh, let's have fun. Have a good day. Thank you. We now dedicate this to the Doesn't get those burning bright on the light you could end
多。